I got so lucky the rear end still had a tire and hit my cage and that stopped it from coming through. That's good. So now what, what, what kind of work goes into these cars as far as the, uh, the structure to make, to make sure everything is, uh, is safe? Do you have to pass any kind of a safety inspection or anything? Oh, they inspect our cars about every week out here. Okay. This one was actually inspected this morning. Okay. Now what, what, kind of, what kind of work do you have to put into these things to make them make sure they're, well, death proof I guess is the word you want to put. A lot of bars welding, a lot of time, hard labor. Now as far as the, the bars that they put in these things, is that, is that uh, something that you design or is it something that's a design that's out there? Or? You can design them yourself. A lot of people have cars built by one person or different people. A lot of them are the same. A lot of them are a little different. But they work on them all as far as they say this is the way it's going to be structured to be safe? Or? Yeah. Okay, so there's some kind of a layout then yeah. for the whole thing. Now, um, as far as the tires and everything, how many tires do you usually go through in a race? In a race? Yeah. Depends. You just one set? No, we get probably five or six nights off a set of tires. Okay. Now, uh, as far as this track at Thunderbird, what, what kind of uh, conditions with, with the, all the rain that we had today, what, what kind of conditions do you think is going to be out there? Oh, it ought to be fast once it quits raining. The track should be pretty tacky. We should be able to... Lay down some pretty good laps. Now, when, it, when, it's, when you say it's fast when it's, when it's wet, why would it be fast when it's wet? The track's heavy, more play. It's not as slippery. It's not as slippery when it's wet? Well, it's going to be tacky. It's not going to be wet. Okay, okay. So what do they, what do, they do to pre prepare the, uh, the track before you go and race? Oh, a lot of times they water it when it's dry. We'll run it in when our car is it's wet to get it up. Ready to go. Okay. So now as far as, uh, let me see. Okay, as far as Miss Nancy D, who's that? That's Missy Nancy D. Missy That's Nancy actually D. actually three names. Missy, Nancy, and D. Yeah. Are those three women that you, you know? Or yeah, what? these guys' wives so just runs it up with the family. Okay, now did these guys put the, put the car together? Or who oh, they that? help out a lot. Now, now, do you guys all work together in this whole thing? Or? Oh, yeah. These are... That's three here, Mike G, the car over there, and the car inside, we're actually all three team cars. Okay. So now, we all just put labor in each other's cars, help out as well we can. Now you race this car, but what what else do you do? What, I mean, do you... Fish, hunt? No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> as, far as, the, as far as the car goes, do you, do, you uh, do any of the engine work with it, or just oh, any yeah. repairs? Or... Yeah, okay, Mikey's laughing over here, so yeah, I'm not sure what that's all about. But... I heard we got a guy over here that's got some stories, though, right? Oh yeah, he's got some good ones. Now, what's uh, tell me one of your stories? Okay, one one of your stories. Your uh, either scariest race, uh, your best race, what? Oh, my best race. I'd have to say the scariest one was when the rear end came through my car. That was kind of <laughs> my roof kind of went right down inside my whole car, and it was lying right next to me. Yeah. He went out there and finished the race without a roof. Oh, you finished the race without the roof? Hey, he came in a pitch because they go out and race. Kept all these guys ripped the car all apart. So we tore it apart, and ripped her off. He came in here, we were here, ripped the roof off, he went back out and finished. Now, so that's legal? You can do that, huh? Yep. As long as, the, as long as the bars are there, right? That's right. Okay. So I think what we come from last to finish 13th again. What about what you have? You have you, you how many weight races? Have, you say you, you've won a lot of races. You don't remember how many races. So what about one of the races that you won? What a what was the uh, I don't know the, the the way that you got to be the uh, the number one to win? Just be smart. Drive the car smooth. Don't get out of control in it. And when you see is that the other guys coming up from behind or whatever, do you do anything to... No, I don't change my line. I don't drive the car any different. You just hope that it's going to... Just by hope I can hold them off. The perseverance then is basically yep. what you're going by? Okay. All right. Well, thanks, sir. Yep. Good luck today. Thank you. Now, what are you racing today and what? Oh, we're going to qualify tonight, hopefully. Oh, just qualify and then you yep. race and start racing tomorrow? Yep. Okay. Thanks. This is one of the cars out here to beat. These two right here, so in the in the sportsmen's, in the street stocks. What's your name? Dean Barner. And Dean, I, I heard you're, you're quite a legend out here. What? And these guys, these younger guys, are trying to live up to your legend. What's what's that? What's that all about? Uh, me, 
buddy of mine standing over here, been doing it for about 30 years. We've raced just about everything there is to race. I heard you, uh, Mikey was telling me that uh, you put his uh, motor together, or got bought, sold his motor I, to him? I or? didn't put it together, I sold it off. Okay. And that was the one that won him some races. We'll talk about that too. It was one of the ones that won, won him some races last week at uh, Windsor. Right. Yeah. So, guess he won everything with it. Now, uh, what kind of what kind of motor would you put in there? It's a three to three small block. Okay. Now, do, what, what do you what do you do as far as uh, do you? I mean, for a living, as far as uh, besides here. Um, I'm not working right at the time. Okay. So this this is kind of a a living thing right now, right? All right. Right. Oh, if I didn't have a couple of buddies to help me, I would do this. Be sitting in the garage. Okay. All right. Now, what what do you do to do the cars as far as? Uh, I maintain them basically. These other guys buy the parts. Okay. Now, uh, how many cars have you had that uh, in the race? Oh, I've had a few. I started off with a modified this year and blew the motor up in that. And we bought this one here and this car here. The street stock is more fun. Okay. So that's why I stayed there. How many races you won? You got any ideas? Oh, uh, how many trophies you got? Put it that way. Maybe a couple hundred, maybe. <laughs> That's not At bad. Least. That's not bad. Now, uh, t tell me, tell me some of your uh, worst experiences. Oh, like last year, the, the show last year, I got flipped over, hit the wall, flipped over. And came out okay though. I mean, came oh, out. Oh yeah, I came out all right. No problem. Now what's what's that what's what's the feeling? What's the your the, the adrenaline rush and all that when you? Uh, it's kind of scary. It's kind of scary because you don't know exactly what's going to happen. But I was hanging upside down. I was watching gas come out of the carburetor. Never that, that bothered me. Yeah, that, that would be kind of scary. Now did uh, did you just jump right back in and, and drive the next week or what? Oh, we was back out a couple of, about an hour after that. About an hour later. Yeah, about an hour later. We just, a few guys just what flipped the car back up and. That's right. We put up on stands, fixed back up, went back out. Now what kind of now? What do the women say about this? I mean, I can I can imagine some of the uh, the wives and girlfriends would say uh, you guys are crazy, or do they enjoy it? Oh, they very, they enjoy it very much. Yeah, very much. I mean, I think there's just as many many NASCAR female fans as there are uh, oh, yeah. men. So, oh yeah, and racing fans. Now, Thunderbird Raceway. Do you get more women over here than you do men, or is there a little <laughs> well, bit of? We wished. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you wish. Oh, there's, there's yeah, you get quite a few women here. Yeah. I heard you had a, uh, I, I saw there was a cage going by, so there, there's going to plan on being some women here tonight oh, dancing in a cage, huh? There should be. <laughs> <laughs> That's part of the festivities for Thunderbird. I don't remember, I don't remember, remember mentioning that on the, uh, on the radio, though, when oh, they do the I advertising. Don't think, I don't think they would, but that's an after hours part. Ah, after hours. Is that just for the drivers? That's for everybody. Everybody, everybody, everybody. everybody, everybody. Take that camera.